We have to walk to the shop to get the van because yesterday the driveway was full when the ladies were over here, so I had to park at my shop. So it's kind of funny. Uh, Mary went running out of the house, ran over to where the van was supposed to be, looked around and said, where van go? One of the checks for the snail's pace challenge was to put up the mop rack right next to the pot rack. Woohoo! And Jill's excited about that. Here's what we have going on. A mop in the sink and a broom and a dust mop right next to the sink and that doesn't look too good. So I, I made these two racks. Actually it was a team effort. Janelle, I cut the boards, Janelle sanded them and then her dad uh, finished them and put some polyurethane on them and then I put the hooks on them. I'm seeing where to hang it. I had to stop what I was doing and play with kiddos and then put them to bed and all that kind of stuff. So it's a little late but I'm determined to get those mop holders up and I have a little bit of success to show. The first one is up and now I just need to put the second one right up above it. It's almost midnight but I did it. Look at that. All done. And there's one more check on the snail's pace challenge. Tomorrow I'm going to have Janelle hang some brooms and mops and whatever else up there. Good morning. The reason I am up a little on the earlier side is because of that one who got up early and then Mary got up early. So, oh, you've made a mess. I can't show you Mary because she's getting dressed and trying to help cook. Anyways, I'm making some pancakes this morning. Pete's helping me with the bacon. How's it going, Pete? Good. Mm, yummy. Saturday morning, pancakes and bacon. We shoot for that every week. So, okay, let's get going here. And there are the pancakes. And there's the mess from Mary helping. What did you eat, Miss Grace? Say, I ate two pancakes. They were yummy, weren't they? Are you all done? All done. All done, okay. All done. We've got our pancakes, our bacon, and some fresh homemade maple syrup from our neighbor. Today is Saturday, and as you know, that's the day we try to get a lot of things done. Usually on Friday, I prepare for what we're going to do on Saturday. The only thing is, I totally forgot it was Saturday. Janelle said to me uh, something about, we always make pancakes on Saturdays. And I said, it's Friday. And she said, no, it's Saturday. I said, are you sure? And she said, yes. And then I thought, oh, that's pretty bad. I'm about oh, 30 years too young to start doing stuff like that. We're ready for our second, I say second, text. Um, bum, this is, this bum, is exciting. Bum, bum, Already bum, two bum, checks. Peter helped you with this one. Mary helped me a little bit with this one, so we'll let her help. Install mop holder. Right here, Mary. Just, just a little. You put your orange right there. No, no, don't. Be careful. Okay. There you go. Good job. There we are. Two out of 52. Done. Yeah, well, you have to finish the other ones before you mark them. You gotta, you gotta do them first. Yay! Go, Daddy! Is that a good enough cheer? I guess it will work. <laughs> Look at even Gracie's bouncing for you. Yeah. <laughs> Janelle is getting ready to try out her new mop and broom holder. She's trying it out. I'll have to put this. Ah! Sorry. Gotta remember the ceiling's there. The ceiling's up there. All this junk is going to come off the floor. How are we looking? Well, if they're all hanging up, it's good. Now we have to deal with the displaced goodies. Okay. When I build the cabinets, then that will get taken care of. I mean, this used to be, what, I had three of these. Oh, between, oh, it was heaping. We had a waterfall effect we, We've right purged there. a lot. So I put under here. I put the pans that were over there. I just put them here. I moved the potatoes into a smaller bucket over in this corner. Every time we finish a project, everything gets a little bit more organized. That makes me eager to get those cabinets done right there. The boys are in the kitchen cooking. We're making they're, a pizza party pocket. Yeah, pizza yeah. Is that what they're making? Are you helping? Yeah, yeah she's Looks like she's helping eat the spilled cheese. Here they are. 
I wonder if Aunt Laura has one of these in her Etsy shop. Oh, she sure. sells a lot of cool vintage kitchen and houseware, so she, I bet she probably has one. Here's our lunch. We have salad, fruit, and our party pockets. The kids love these things. Charity sold her nice green scarf that she made, and Lydia's weighing it. How much does it weigh? Oh, that, what number is 49. that number? 49? Yeah. I think that more, looks more like a uh, 7. Charity's getting ready to send it and it's going to Alabama. Janelle and Charity are going to go to Michael's. They have to get some more yarn. We're on our way to Michael's again because Charity realized that the variegated yarn isn't quite big enough to make two full washcloths and she has to supplement with it around that for a border and it goes off sale today so we want to make sure we go and pick up whatever she's going to need and then I may stop at Staples if we have enough time but it's kind of strange just the two of us going out usually we have a carload of people the little girls are sleeping and the big girls are gone so the boys are all down in the basement, and they're, uh, the, Peter's taking something down that is broken. And I'm working on my kitchen cabinets, so I have to finish finding all the boards. Open it up. See what's inside. Probably all blown out circuits. Is there anything blown out in there? Can you figure out why it doesn't work? Do you see anything that would make it not work? The west. No, I don't see anything. Wait, wait. Let's see right there. A few wires. It's old. The old doesn't make it not work. John is going to help do a furnace filter. Over here, Peter is trying to fix the railing. I think another nail will be good. There. Good for about three or four months. We're in the planner aisle and they have all these cool, colorful, really cheerful looking planners. I'm just looking for a style. I wasn't looking at prices. And then Charity says, look at that. The one I was looking here is $20.99. And then the bigger size is $25.99. It's been several years, well, probably closer to 10 years. I used to buy planners every year when I was teaching. Um, I had so many piano students, I really needed a way to keep track of them. So I haven't bought a planner in probably 10, 12 years. And the prices have really gone up. Um, it's making me think that I'm gonna just make my own. This is shocking to me. $51.99 for this file. I used to buy this. And it was not $51.99. Ah, now this is more my speed. The clearance section. And another clearance rack. Oh, let's see if we can find anything that we need. Not because it's cheap, but we need it. We finally found the section I was looking for. The post-it note section. Let's see what kind of goodies I can find. We finished Staples and we left empty-handed. It was rather shocking, the prices for post-it notes. Like little cubes, little cubes, seven, eight bucks. And I know that Post-it Note has coupons and I don't always buy that stuff, but when I used to buy it, it was never, never, ever that expensive. Did I wanna hit um, either Ocean State or the Dollar General and see if I can find something cheaper than that because that's just, that's ridiculous. This is like what I bought last year at a garage sale, $39.99. And I only paid, what, $3, Charity? Yeah. This is like what I have, but I... Oh, it's the Wasi tape? It's basically... Same thing. Wow, that's a lot of different tape things. In case you didn't guess, we did make it to Michael's, and we're just kind of browsing since we don't have the girls with us. We can take a little time, right? Charity and I found this section, and it's far cheaper. It's only $3.99 for one of these. Nah, $59.99. There's the chalkboard markers and sticker section. Lots of nice stuff here. Well, those are $1.50. That's more like it. Found a clearance rack of Christmas clearance. And what was in the Christmas clearance? But coconut, shredded coconut that we use for our granola. And that was 25 cents. Well, that was a good deal. And then I got my post-it notes for my planner. Here comes the welcoming committee. 
For my New Year's resolutions, one that we need to really work on is number seven, peaceful meals. Meals at our house tend to be quite chaotic, so we're trying to work on getting them to be peaceful. One of the ways I'm attempting to do that is to go around the table, have each person talk for a couple minutes, and just tell about something, a subject that we choose, and then the other children just have to be quiet and listen. And it's quite hard for them to do that, but they're learning. Today the subject we're going to talk about is our snail's pace challenge. We had, I wouldn't exactly call it a peaceful meal, but it's probably more peaceful than they've been. What, what do you think, kiddos? Not peaceful. You think not peaceful? But was it, peaceful. Was it more peaceful? More peaceful. More, not peaceful, but more peaceful than usual? Yes. Okay. So we discussed what we're going to do for our snail's pace challenge. For snail's pace challenge, we have to do a project by a certain date. The next project are the two kitchen cabinets next to the stove. One of the big things about snail's pace challenge is the public humiliation, we call it. And the public humiliation is uh, if you don't finish a project on time, you have to do something kind of embarrassing. Like one time, I had to put a sign out in front of the house that says, Honk to encourage me to finish my cabinets. And uh, I think that was out there for two days or something like that. And several people did honk. What we were thinking about is, since it's kind of cold right now, if it's not done by a certain time, every day I have to go outside in a swimsuit and flip-flops for five minutes until the job is done. What do you think, Janelle? I say something. Better you than me. Do you like that idea? No. You don't. You would. Does that mean you wouldn't want to do it, or you think I shouldn't do it? I should not do it. If it gets my cupboards done, I'm not going to say a word. It, that's the plan. That's why we do it. On the other side of things, if I get it finished sooner uh, than the prescribed time, we're going to take that amount of time, and we're going to do two things. We're gonna, the boys and I are going to work, start working on our human powered hydrofoil and then Charity wants to get her room uh, painted. How long do you think it should take to build two cabinets? Minus doors. Four weeks. Four weeks she says. Okay, four weeks it is. February 20th it is. And Janelle just said to me, uh, what about Valentine's Day? Janelle, what happens if I can get it done by Valentine's Day? What happens? Yes, an extra, an extra reward. No, my reward, your reward is getting the cabinets done. What's daddy's reward for getting it done by Valentine's Day? John wanted to make a prediction of when it will be finished. I think it will be finished on the day, of, the last day of February, the 29th. February 29th, says John. It's a leap year. Right. Oh, we're going to celebrate the leap year. Peter, when do you think? You really want me to say? I really want you to say. Two weeks. Two weeks? Wow, Peter must be going to help a lot. Charity, what do you think? I really do hope that you get it done by the 14th because I want to paint my room. What is your prediction? Uh oh. March 15th. <laughs> March 15th. After Grace's birthday? Wow. Oh. <laughs> that's a lot of cold. Like cold. <laughs> hey, hey, maybe if I don't finish till summer, I'll be nice and warm out there. <laughs> Does anyone want to know my prediction? Yes. 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 I think. Valentine's Day. We're gonna call it a night. I look at me. I look really tired. Mm -hmm. You still look nice and perfect. Oh, I got a lot to do tonight. Oh, I don't know. I was how hoping to work it. on cabinets, but it's not gonna happen. No, not tonight. No. I'm gonna. It's a little after ten. I'm gonna start getting ready for bed and then curl up in bed and do some editing. But we're gonna call it a night. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're new, and we'll see you for our next vlog. Good night.